Hey everybody, I'm Agent Fluffy, and I'm going to do a fanfic read. This is... Somebody requested me to do this fanfic. It's called The Dream at Day and The Dream at Night by Thespia Rose. So I hope you enjoy it. The Dream at Day and The Dream at Night. Once upon a time... In the magical Cantalot Castle that towers over all of Equestria, there lived two regal Alicorn sisters who ruled together. The elder white sister, with a mane and tail that streaming with colors like the rainbow, and wearing a gold crown and necklace, both with a single purple amethyst, created harmony to use her magic to raise the sun. And the younger indigo sister, with a mane and tail that glittered like the stars, and wearing a smaller blue crown, and a necklace with a half moon shone in the black background, raises a moon at night. But a thousand years ago, they were separated, when younger sister began to grow jealous of her elder sister, for the ponies relished and played in a day she brought forth. However, they shunned and slept through the younger sister's beautiful night. Then one fateful day, the younger sister refused to lower the moon and make way for the sun. The elder sister tried to reason with her, but it was too late, for the bitterness in the young alcorn's heart transformed her into Nightmare Moon. The elder used the elements of harmony to defeat her sister and banish her to the moon. Twilight and her friends used the elements to defeat Nightmare Moon when she returned. The two sisters were finally reunited. They have forgiven each other and once again brought harmony for their kingdom. The princesses had for a while and have been checking up on their subjects each day they have gone by. Dear little sister, have you ever seen such a more beautiful sight than our subjects laughing in our balance of harmony? Celestia spoke at last as she looked out in the balcony with her sister. Never in all our kingdom did I ever see a humble, peaceful day like this in all of Equestria. Luna answered back, smiling at her elder sister. As Celestia began to lower the sun to make way for the moon, she thought to herself as Luna began to raise the moon. Was it really worth it, me banishing my own sister to the moon? Why didn't I save her? I hope my sister had thought about the day she banished me to the moon. She had no choice. After all, she only did it out of love. That night, when the two sisters both slept soundly, they began to toss and turn in their royal bedchambers. They both were in an enchanted state of calm surroundings, each in their own minds. But suddenly, a dark shadow fell upon Celestia's nightmare moon's eyes shone in the sky. No, Luna! I will not lose you again! You must stop this madness! Celestia shouted with tears in her eyes. Fear not, Celestia! I will never lose you! Luna's voice echoed as Nightmare Moon's eyes began to disappear. Luna flew to her sister's waiting embrace and hugged her tightly, as if she never wanted to let go. Then the sun, moon, and stars began to dance around them, and the two sisters flew all around them in a dance like flight. They also flew over Equestria, playing amongst the stars. Their whole kingdom looked upon the sky and bowed before them. The princesses walked into the glowing light of a magical doorway that stood before them. And through the doorway was a magical garden that glittered in the moonlight like fairy dust. In the middle of the garden stood two flowers, one a bright yellow sunflower and the other a night-blooming orchid. The princesses felt calm and peaceful than they were even before. Then they both woke up at the same time. It was a wonderful dream, Celestia said as she got out of bed. Who gave it to me? I did, and you gave me the same, Luna said as she walked in. Oh, thank you, little sister. No, thank you, my sister, for fondly forgiving yourself as well as me. The princesses walked to the balcony together, and Celestia once again used her magic to raise the sun, and the Equestria welcomed a brand new day. I know you will be a great ruler of me by your side, Celestia. I am so lucky to have a sister like you, Luna. The two sisters stayed with each other everywhere they went in Equestria. Traveling where any pony needed their help, 
from the biggest of cities to the smallest of towns, checking on each and every one of their subjects. As the moon began to rise by Luna's magic, she noticed that Celestia was smiling up at the sky. After she had finished making the stars, Luna flew down to her sister and asked, What are you thinking about my sister? Don't you think mother and father would be proud, Luna? I'm sure they would be proud of both of us. They both looked at the two brightest stars of all, thinking that they might maybe one day hope to see all of the universe. They looked upon the moon, hoping that another peaceful night will surely bring peace to all the land. As they walked inside the castle, they stopped and looked at one of their stained glass windows, each one telling a story of their kingdom's history. One of them was the first day they first rose the sun and the moon. Celestia looked at the pictures and started to let tears escape from her eyes. Noticing this, Luna threw a comforting wing on her sister's back and said quietly in her ear, Dear sister, I hope you will be brave for the both of us. I will, Luna, for all of Equestria. They walked out of the throne room and out of the balcony one last time before turning back to the castle for another night's rest. The next morning, after she raised the sun, Celestia walked to the throne room where Luna had been waiting for her. She sat on her throne with her sister by her side. Well, I hope you enjoy this fanfic read. And, uh, well, this has been Agent Fluffy, and I'll see you guys in the next fanfic read.